it's your girl beauty speaks back with another video right today is now saturday i should have done this earlier in the week but i couldn't because i had way too many things going on so in this video we're going to be working on makeup of course i i mean i have to right i wouldn't be myself if i couldn't work on my makeup you know that's one of the things i love to do for those who are just now meeting me and I'm just now meeting you, I'm your girl that loves to do makeup. I am a makeup artist, but I'm more so geared to learning how to be more creative, do a little bit more than glam, be natural for the first time in forever. Anybody that know me know I always wear makeup. Makeup prone, makeup everything. I will wear makeup to go to the corner store. I will wear makeup to run an errand. I'll wear makeup just to be outside for five minutes and come back in. This is just what I like to do. It is creativity for me as an artist. So let's get into this, shall we? We're going to talk some things that's been going on with me and why you haven't been seeing so much of me. I got some things going on. I really have some things going on. So before we get into that, what I'm going to do is half of my face an airbrush and the other half of my face in what is natural makeup. I will be using my Ket airbrushing system, which is the mini airbrushing system. I go to school for makeup. I was going for esthetician um, financially. I couldn't afford it. I still owe at least three and some change left. I haven't been there for a week. Um, <clears throat> am I kind of hurt by it? To a certain extent, I am. Um, because you know what? I should have done some more research and I should have had some backup funds available. But we'll get into that in a later time. Let's just say when one door is closed, God definitely will open another. So we just gonna talk today. So I like to prep my face. Now, <clears throat> your girl here, look at all of this. This is scarring here and there's like a few breakouts that I can see. This is probably cause I keep eating Reese cups. I can't help myself. All that peanut butter and chocolate. Mm. And this is still scarring here. Now, since I have been in a pimple there, but since I have been going to esthetician school and getting these free facials, honey, the face has been looking a lot clearer. Because before, like I said, I would never walk out the door without wearing makeup. I at least had to have something. Eyebrows had to be snatched. I had to have some lashes on. Maybe some light foundation, but I couldn't just go bare face. Like right now, I could walk out the door and be completely fine with myself now. And it took years to get comfortable with just being bare faced. That's the trend now is to be the bare faced girly. However, I still like makeup. I can't get away from it. I just gravitate towards it. So for my first prep, I've been prepping with rosehip oil. Now I normally would prep with my bio oil, which girl, this, this to me is my holy grail. I don't know about anyone else, but that is my holy grail when it comes to the face. There is another oil that I have come into contact with since I've been in my makeup program, which I will be graduating sometime in May. But um, that oil, when I show you that oil, that that oil is the oil. Um, But the rosehip oil I have already placed on my face. I'm not going to do it again. But it's here, here, it's everywhere. After I use the rosehip oil, I will go into my hydrating serum. This is by PCA. So this is one of the products that we use in esthetician class. And then after that, I will go into my Dr. Paula Hyaluronic ah, Drops. <laughs> yeah, these are... I was going to say acid and then I was like, mm, but hyaluronic acid drops. This is for hydrating and plumping the skin. I don't like to use too much of this. Dr. Paula is, I 
have a couple of her products but this one here this is the one that I like to use and then the color of it kind of got me it's like icy blue I gravitate to things that kind of look good and kind of look interesting so and pick drop there I can see it I don't know if you can see it it's really really faint all I need is three drops Sometimes when we do things, we get a little bit, you know, we get overzealous with it. Just putting on way too much product. Now, when product is expensive, we use it sparingly. Have to. But this is just to make sure that my palette is very just a basic palette. Anytime I look at the face, I think of a blank canvas before putting on any products like a painter. They have a blank canvas before they start to paint and the face should be a blank canvas. So in esthetician school, learning about skin and how in order for makeup to lay properly, your skin gotta, gotta give something. You gotta be giving something, honey, something. But this is my face. So after that, rejuvenating serum by pca this is another one this stuff is expensive now if i can't get these funds to get myself back in school <laughs> i'll be finding some other products to keep on with my light regimen but this pretty much is what i've been doing now it has like a really it has a smell to it, it kind of reminds me of like mint almost like a minty minty smell but I, I i like it looks good all right so now we've done all the things that's done what else do i want to put on my face um hmm. since i'm gonna do one half and the other half with my regular products i'm going to prime this side of my face i'm not gonna prime this side so I'm going to go in with my, now I got two things. I have two priming. I Technically, I got three. Technically, I have three. I have Revolution Pro Hydrating Serum. Oh, primer. I have my Honest. Now, this one, I just, I just brought this one. And I had to look it up, find out if it was a good product or not. And it is. I actually like how it feels. Honest tends to have good products across the board because they're wholesome products. There's nothing in this that probably would be harmful to your skin. Whereas some of these other things, you don't know what's inside them. But one day we're going to go through what's inside these products because you need to know. And then, ooh my holy grail now the girlies at urban decay don't make this anymore but this is the holy grail for me this is another one of my favorites and a friend had put me on to this and she was like yeah i used it and i loved it and i was like okay so i went and brought it and um haven't seen it since so uh i guess they may have changed the formula or changed it but i've not seen this anywhere um or any of these products that I'm using, I would definitely be leaving links to them. I'm just giving you the names and where you can find them. So, we're not going to mess with the Holy Grail. We're going to leave that one alone at special occasions. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely going to use this one. And we're just going to... Small amount. Very, very small amount. I really don't use too much and i'm just gonna lightly put it under my eyes put a little in this area <laughs> little in this area mm, do a one half of my face this is gonna get interesting so that's done. i think we're good now Here's the rest of what's going to get interesting. 
I'm gonna show you all the things that I use because a lot of times people are like, well, what do you use? What do you use? For my eyebrows, I use Morphe. Now, I know the girls are into using, you know, the things of things, liners and such, but the brow pencil, I, I don't think I've, I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not really, I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. I don't know how I feel about that. But, let's see. So, did I fluff them? No, of course not. I think I move so fast sometimes that I forget to do some things that I normally should do. Now, I'm a stickler with my eyebrows. Because they have to look a certain way before I even, like outline them but here is just like eh. we're just playing in makeup this is our play date today and i invite you to many of these play dates with me so we can get well acquainted with each other because we're gonna go on a journey now my journey in doing these like videos and talking to people um have i done it before yes i've i've done this before I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I have done this before. But being doing this and the time that I'm in right now and the phase I am in in my life, no. I've been pretty much keeping to myself. Like staying in a bubble. In a bubble with me and God. Just in the bubble. I feel like sometimes being in that bubble is is my safe haven and some people may feel like oh girl safe haven in the bubble with yeah being in bubble with god is my safe haven i have been hurt way too many times and sometimes just being in that bubble and separating myself from other things and people that's safety to me that's comfort not saying I'm trying to be antisocial and I don't want to be around people, but sometimes your girl just, I need to have that quiet time, that quiet space. If you didn't know, I am very spiritual. Um, very spiritual. I go to church. I do go. I go, I go faithfully. But since I've had class and school, not been able to go to like things during the week. But I do go when I have the time because it's a part of my life. It's also a part of my job. I can't say yes to God and not do the things that he re is requiring me to do. So that's my little spill on church. I'm not going to go too heavy, but that is the spill. Um, so, yeah. So today, hmm, kind of, I don't know. I don't know. We normally, when I do this, I start with this one first and then I do this one. But for some reason, I'm starting on this side. Because this side has not been kind to me these past couple of weeks. Been looking a little jacked in this eyebrow. And they're supposed to look like twins. They're supposed to look like sisters. And they've been looking like distance relatives. So I'm going to get together. Bear with me. But um, we're just going to have our, you know, our little, our tea time. And we're going we gonna to talk. We're going to talk today about humility. <clears throat> humility. Humility to me is I want to say everything and sometimes people are not as humble as they need to be they're not they're, they're they really aren't they're not as humble as you think they're not you can tell when somebody is really humble through their actions their actions will tell you everything and also the words that come out their mouth. A lot of times, people will claim to be humble, but their actions say otherwise. 
slightly messed up, but we'll fix her. It's okay. And sometimes people are prideful. They are disgustingly prideful. Now, have we all been prideful? Absolutely. I'm not guilty of that. There was a time in my life where I was, I was prideful. But you know what? Stop being prideful. Because prideful don't do nothing for you anyway. It will block your blessings when you are prideful. It blocks your blessings. And sometimes being prideful will also be one of those things where you just you're not thinking straight when you're prideful. Because it's always about you. When people are prideful, they are now the center of attention. <clears throat> it's all about them. Anything outside of that, it just, they could care less. <clears throat> it really could. You know what I watched? I watched Snowfall. I watched the finale last night and... <sighs> listen that that broke me that broke me but it was so true now for those who have not if you have not watched the finale i would suggest you might want to turn this off really quick and then like come back in maybe about a couple minutes later i i, I say about maybe 10 minutes later come back but if you have watched it stay because we're going to talk about it. So, when I watched it, I just, at one point in time, I was getting ready to turn it off, girl. I'm not going to lie to you. Honey, I was getting ready to turn the camera off. I so was going to turn it off. I really was. I was like, you know what? Let me turn this TV off. I said camera, but let me turn this TV off. Let me turn this off because I can't watch too much of this. This is breaking my heart right now. Like, Franklin really was, he was that guy. And when you watch people who are, you know, they're the it person, and then everything just come crashing down, I think that's really tough. I think that, you know, it's really tough. And to see him just out of his element everywhere he's turning to the doors are shutting on him now midway through before i got to the final final episode of all the seasons i stopped and i went all the way back to the first season first episode and i watched because i needed to piece together where people where he went wrong and a lot of times we go wrong and there's all these red flags Pretty much God like, look, man, I need you to go on ahead, get it right. Because you know what happens, pride comes before fall. And there were so many opportunities that were presented to him. And lo and behold, he couldn't he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Now I know I have slightly messed up there, but this is just this is just the trial basis. I've not ever done a split face before. But um there were so many things that could have gone better for him. Um, and a lot of times, there are so many things that can't go better for us. And we have to always pay attention to those signs. Because prideful, being prideful is not good. I had someone once tell me, that to be a king you have to be prideful now <laughs> listen this is my mac makeup i'm just listen <laughs> cuz i have to chuckle about it what people do in their spare time is their business. But you cannot serve the Lord. You cannot serve your Heavenly Father 
and be prideful. In no way. Just like you can't serve him and be a liar. God said a liar should not tarry in his eyesight. So you can't do these things and then think that it's okay and then believe that everything is going to work itself out. It's not. It really isn't. It really, 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 really isn't. And when pride is there, you can't see. It blocks everything. It really does. It really does. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. In God's timing, he'll do it. You don't have to do all this showboating and bragging and all that. People are very prideful. But I wanted to tell you about how God blessed me. And how he used someone who really don't know me from... I, I don't want to say a can of paint. I, that phrase get used so much. But... Somebody who just came into knowing me, God allowed them to bless me. So like I told you, I'm in school to be a future esthetician. And being in school financially, when it comes to being in a trade school, no, it's not easy. It's not easy. Now, if I had 10000 50,000, 60K somewhere off to the side, it probably would have been a shoe in for me. But I don't have that kind of money. Not yet. One day I believe I will, but not yet. So I wasn't going to be able to go back to school for an esthetician or makeup. Because money needed to be handed in. If not, then the clock stops. So what ended up happening was I didn't go in. And everybody started like hit me up like where you at where you at and I'm just like it's over like <laughs> this is it I'm not going back um and someone very 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 genuine that I have just grown to know ended up giving me the money that I needed now this individual helped to pay for my makeup the individual couldn't do the full amount but my makeup course got paid and let me tell you something for someone to not know me like that and me not know them vice versa and we getting to know each other and this individual well, I'm not gonna say name out of the kindness of their heart gave generously into mine is it goes far beyond what anybody can ever I you know so it, it goes beyond anything that anybody can comprehend because they didn't have to do it. Yes, God, they didn't have to do it, but they did. God saw fit that somebody poured into in, into me. They believe in me. They believe that I'm capable of doing. And what was said was, I wish I could do more. And I said, no, 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 no. That's fine. I had two doors, esthetician and makeup. God saw fit that one door closed and the other one was still open for me to walk through. So either door I walked through, God, no. And I just want to give a special shout out to that individual because that clearly tells me how true their heart is. You have to be in a place for these things. God works miracles, but he needs willing vessels to work those miracles through. Because God is a spirit and we worship God in spirit and in truth. So I just want to thank that individual so much for believing in me. Now, I may not be able to go back to esthetician class because there's still a chunk of money that needs to be paid for. If I can't go, then I can't. I'm not in control of this. And that's fine. As long as I'm able to still do something, the door that's open is going to lead me exactly where God needs me to go. 
because there are people who are attached to me and I have to go through these things and go through these doors that God is opening so that I can reach them. Because when I say yes, I'm no longer in myself. So I'm now still going to makeup. Um, <laughs> my makeup class and I'm enjoying it a lot. So we were told, excuse me, I'm trying to get the concealer to come out and I think it's stuck. Um, we were told to, <gasps> okay, so it just squirted out everywhere, but we, you know, we, we gonna clean that up. We gonna, woo, 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 woo. you know, cause this is, we're a work in progress here. So we're going to do what we gotta do, but I just, I thank God that people were in a place. They were in a place to help me. That, my friend, is nothing but God. So I'm going to let that sit. Now, for this other eyebrow, I'm trying to think what we're going to do. I could use cream. I could use powder. Last time I used cream, I think it, it worked a lot better. So, you know, I'm going to go over here into my makeup kit, which is on my bed, but you can't see it. And, um, honey, I'm going to go into one of these little makeup kits. I might have to go into my neutrals. I could go into my olives because I'm going to show you what they look like. So, this is my neutral. This is my ruby. This is all cat. This is professional makeup. And this is my olive. But because your girl's a neutral, we're going to stick with the neutral. So, I'm going to beauty blend this out. Yeah, it's a wig. It's okay. Not bothered by it. I'm, I'll probably be one of the realest people you will meet. Because I don't shy away from those things for what <laughs> for what there's no point to shy away from it so that's done <laughs> it looks so weird to see it this way this is my minted and this is my loose setting powder and this is in a light tan i love this brand this brand has been very generous to me. Very generous. I love Minted. Minted is a very good product. Um, so just, oh my goodness, a lot of loose powder everywhere. But I just like to set that because I don't want it to crease. So I don't know what kind of look we're going to go for. And yeah, I done did all of that. So I look a couple different shades right about now. So... Yeah, we're in makeup class. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it, honey. Yes, I am. I'm loving it. Um, so we have some pretty cool stuff. Like overall, the kit that I have is is an extensive kit, and the brushes are by Isom. So this is my T07 Isom brush. And I'm going to do the other eyebrow. But, yeah, your girl's in makeup school. But being generous, it goes a long way. It goes a long way right when you're generous and you're doing right. Because some people, they think they're doing right. They're not doing right. They think and they're not. They're not. Now... This may, it's not going to, this is brown. This is not like, this is not the Morphe. So this is going to be a completely different shade. But I just want to show you guys that this also is not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a gel. <laughs> it's just really soft. I wouldn't want to call it a pomade. It's just really, I don't know what to call this. It's a cream. I'm just going to go in and slightly 
So as you can tell, this is definitely a completely different shade. Just being different. Sometimes when you do things differently, you'll get a different outcome. I'm learning that. Do things different and see what happens. See if it's something that you really want to, to do. Because different outcomes will give different perspective. So if I do something different, it may lead me to a different area. And right about now, I need different. I don't like to do the same things over and over again. I sometimes find myself getting extremely bored. Anybody that knows me knows that I get bored. And they're probably like, bored? How? I get bored. I'm one of the people who will, I will keep you entertained, keep myself entertained, so I don't end up bored. Now, <laughs> I just want to fluff my girls out here. Fluff my girl. My other girl's fluffed. But this kind of gives off a little bit of a realistic brow. Sometimes people go, oh my goodness. I love your brows and I'm like thank you then I also know that sometimes doing brows you can do them so many different ways now we've been doing in class we've been doing the fluff look now fluff brows cool not a problem not a problem but I am a stickler when it comes to brows they gotta look a certain way so they don't look a certain way you already know I'm finna have a fit. Now I'm trying to make that as clean as possible. I'm trying to increase my speed. I'm somebody who will do makeup. I will take my time. Now, have I been able to do makeup in 30 minutes? Absolutely. Your girl can move like this. Am I gonna move like that today? Probably not. I'm a Morphe girl. When it comes to makeup palettes, I'm pretty morphed out. I mean, um, I like them because of the colors. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm really like a fanatic for pinks. But this one has all these like beautiful greens. We got some like darkness shades down here. We have some lights there. But I really live for these colors here. Because you can go so many different directions with them. So... Let's try something different and let's see what it's going to give. Am I nervous? Slightly, yeah. But because I got it, I gotta be different. We're going to try something different now. I'm gonna use my brushes <laughs> for my regular makeup. These my regular brush. Now this brush is just some that. A friend had got me years ago. I never got rid of them. I don't know why. Maybe because I just like the color. But we just going to go ahead and we can do something different. So, yeah, it was at this time I knew something was going to happen. Whew. My neighbors are playing music. I don't, know if the, I don't know if that can be heard, but they're playing music. So if you hear it, just know it's the neighbor.
because I am a N5 neutral, I have to take the ruby and the olive to mix to get a neutral five. So ruby five, olive five to get an N5. I'm gonna put them into my airbrush. Now, because I don't have to do a full face, I'm not gonna, you know, use a lot. So we'll say we'll use one, two, three. We'll use three. I don't need a lot. It's just only one half of my face. Normally, um, I may use five or six, and I have the back bubble to get it to mix. Y'all ready? I think y'all ready. So, this is the brush. The liquid goes inside of here. This moves. There's air that comes out of here. Normally, I should be holding it from this here at that angle. So, pretty much right about here. Now, I should be holding it like this. Because this is what's going to keep it moving. Y'all ready? Here we go. Such a difference. There's a difference. Now, you see this mark right here, which looks clearly that's a pimple that is coming in from all my sweet eating. So we're just going to cover that with one, two, three, four. Is it covered enough where you can still see it? Covered. Cover it, right? I can see the difference of what this looks like opposed to what that looks like. That is a difference. Now, can you see a difference? Which side do you like? This side? Or is it this side? Which side is giving? Like, this seems like makeup. I can see the difference. And this side is giving, this is giving, it's giving skin. I definitely like this side. Her name is Agape. You wanna see everybody? Come on. Ooh, girl. Mama, you don't, ooh, honey, it don't want you. Say hey, Dozy. Say hey, do. Say hi, you can't see my eyes because I'm just covered in everything. But that's my baby. <gasps> if I told you I done got water all over me, what would you say? What would you say to me? Water's all over <laughs> me. It got everywhere. By Ket Cosmetics. This one is Rush. Now, there are some other ones that have not came in our kit that I am so excited to purchase. Now we're going to focus on, because <laughs> she's fun, but she needs to be blended. I'm not in the mood to blend, but just one side of my face, because I will not leave the house like this. But this is one side, this is the other. So here we go.
so by this time I have used my airbrush kit to spray on my foundation I've also sprayed on eyeshadow and then I decide to go back into one of my morphe palettes to give it a little orangey color I didn't want to do the rush gold and just leave it there I needed to kind of blend that and give it some kind of definition because after a while it just looked like it was just sitting there and yes, it got underneath my eyes, but that's okay because I color corrected that with my Ket Color Corrector Cream. So I'm just basically going through the motions and telling you what's going on with my face. I sped through this because this video got a little extra long. And it shouldn't have been this long, but it got long, friends. It really did. This is Ket. This is Mac. Oh, she's a little, she's a little heavy. <laughs> I use this, this middle one. I could have went more peachy, but no, I kind of went that way. I definitely did go that way. I definitely did go that way. I did. I did. But this is a part of us getting to know each other. A big contrast. I don't know if you guys, I didn't put blush here. So I'll show you. This is my BH Cosmetics. I've had this for some time. And I cannot find this palette anywhere. I've searched high and low for this one as well. Um, Now, those are completely two different things. And for some reason, I the two, I like this side. I don't know how I feel too much about this side. Like, I'm learning <laughs> that with makeup, you're pretty much going to get consumer and you're going to get professional. So when you are look, when I'm, my eyes are trained They've been trained because all I have used is consumer makeup. So my eyes are more trained for this look here. Like if I really went in, add my lashes in, blended this, did my wing there, um, did more contouring and a little bit more highlighting, finished up in this area. This is what my eyes are trained to see. What are you, what are y'all eyes trained? I'm looking in the mirror over here, I'm sorry. What are your eyes more trained on seeing when you do your makeup and when you're looking at other people because a lot of times what we're seeing is not realistic we're seeing high definition layers of makeup it comes off very heavy opposed to airbrush which is going to give you a sheer coverage this is not full coverage this is just sheer now i could have kept going adding on layers but adding on layers really wouldn't do it much justice so if i wanted to do a little bit more of a better coverage i would continue to use my cream palettes that would have gave me more coverage but airbrushing is only going to give you so much that was fun <laughs> that was so fun um but yes loves i want you to if you don't take anything away um pertaining to makeup and some of the products i talked about the one thing i really want you to take in is it is better to give than to receive i want you to take that in carry that with you wherever you go because you may cross paths with somebody and you may not know their full story you may have just caught a glimpse of it but if you feel moved in your heart to do right and to give to somebody you do so because in your giving is your blessing i love you loves 
and I want you to have a great rest of your weekend, the rest of the week that's upcoming because this is the last week of April. And then we're going to welcome in May. And we're going to welcome in May with a lot of empowerment, a lot of encouragement, and a lot of positivity. So loves, I hope you enjoy this introduction video with me because I've not done anything where I was able to be very personal with you. Um, I haven't been able to really show you a little bit more of myself because I've been so busy. But now that I have the time, we're going to continue to bond. You tell a friend to tell a friend and share this video. I love you lots. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> See you later.